What's up guys? Uh, here I have the Fender Broadcaster 70th anniversary uh, custom shop, limited edition journeyman. Um, as all Fender custom shops come around, this is no exception, it's an amazing guitar. The build quality, it's excellent. So a little bit of history here. The Broadcaster is kind of like the grandpa of the Telecaster. You know, it's, it, it goes just like, like this. You have the, the Esquire, the Broadcaster, the Nocaster, and the Telecaster that order. So in 1951, 70 years ago, the Offender brought, you know, a solid body guitar to the NAM show and it was a success. People loved it. However, Gretsch had a drum set already named the Broadcaster and unfortunately Leo had to change the name and for a while he actually clipped the name Broadcaster off the logo. Those were known as the Nocasters and later on in 52 he rebranded it as the Telecaster. The originals are incredible and this captures a lot of that magic. So let's talk about the specs. The neck on this thing is probably one of the fattest guitar necks I've ever played. This is a, a fat 50s U shape. So it's huge. It's a massive neck. It has a medium frets, a compound radius 7 and a quarter to 9 and a half. So it, I mean, even though your notes are not gonna choke when you bend up here, it still feels very much like a, like a vintage guitar. Like the playing experience is not modern at all. So if you love that vintage feeling, this is a great guitar for that. Um, the body, it's made out of ash, it's very light. It has a uh, 51 uh, Broadcaster Custom Shop hand wound pickups that just sound amazing. But probably the most unique thing about the guitar has to be the electronics. So this wiring, it's a, it's a Fender Custom Shop version of the famous uh, bass circuit. For all of you that, that don't know this, the bass circuit was Leo's way of, you know, of basically giving guitar players a neck pickup to be able to play bass. Fender's way of uh, paying tribute to that circuit is coming up with this. On the neck pickup, you have a bass sort of sound, so you still have a capacitor that rolls off the tone but it's not rolled off completely. It still sounds like a neck pickup, but it reduces all of like the, the high end and the harshness. So it, to my ears, it's more like a, like a jazzy sound. It almost sounds like a hollow body jazz guitar, which is cool, you know, it's still very usable. Then in the middle position, you have a you know, traditional neck pickup with no tone hardwired to it. And then finally, in the bridge, all the way up, it's just your bridge pickup, but then you can slowly start introducing the neck, you know, so it's not like a, you know, 50-50 blend at all times. You can just customize it however you want. I find it super interesting. It's really cool. A lot of awesome sounds that you don't typically find. However, if it's still too much for you, Fender includes a wiring kit in the case, you know, that you can always replace it and get your you know, classic three-way telly um, configuration here. But yeah, overall, this guitar is stunning. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's actually finished using the Journeyman um, finish, which is, it emulates a guitar that has been played, but not a lot. It just feels really, really nice. It sounds great. It plays awesome if you like the vintage feel. And yeah, it's a great telly. I'm running it through the Fender Vibroking, which is another custom shop amp. It originally came out in the early 90s, and then later in the mid 2000s, um, Fender reissued it. This is the one that we have here. And it's a very interesting and different amp. It actually has an active EQ, so you can drive the, the, the post section of the amp while keeping the volume very low. So, you know, effectively getting you distortion at a low volume, something really unheard of on these type of uh, Fender amps. Um, it's a great sounding amp. It sounds very vintage, it pairs up really well with this guitar. And it's an awesome combination that I think you guys are gonna love. Let's just go ahead and hear what they sound like.
All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. This guitar is available in our website, waltgrissvintage.com, as well as the amp. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of uh, cool videos in there for you to check out. Also, we're located in Wynwood, Miami, Florida. We have cars, guitars, coffee, so definitely an experience. If you make it down here, you have to visit us. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Sebastian. I'll see you guys in the next one.